Banks and Rick Witter. In they come to the live studio. Yeah. Live. Come on in. Take a seat. Let's talk to you two lovely people. I was just saying I'm going to have to put my strap on, but that's probably... Wow. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. Monday, the 21st of October. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Straps yes. on. <laughs> Now, uh, I just saw the boys when they arrived, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, Paul was saying he's a little bit hungover. Ah. Oh, there you are. No, oh, no, he not is. Me. Oh, yeah, Rick is. Oh, Rick is. Are you a bit hungover, Rick? Excuse me. <laughs> well, you know what it is? They come down, and, and I think this is the only reason that Rick does our show, mm. because he's got 14 kids. Yeah. And <laughs> this is it. It's an excuse to get away for a night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Have just, a night it's a night off. It's a full night's sleep. Yeah. It's in the hub. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you both? We're all right, thank you. I bought some presents for you. I bought, <gasps> oh, some biscuits for you guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are these a Shed 7 biscuits or just... Well, they can be if you yeah. want. And we bought Belgian you what, biscuits? that that came out this week. Yeah, oh, now we wow. talked about this this morning. Did you? Yes. So this is the uh, limited edition... And Joe, you can have this carry bag. <laughs> double vinyl <laughs> of uh, Shed 7 Going for Gold, which is their greatest hits collection. Great. Yes. Love the cover. 20 years old. <gasps> Even though I'm only 28, I don't really How know. Does How that does that work? work? Yeah. Confusing, I don't know. Look at that. What belters are on this album, by the way? What Cute. belters? Going for gold, disco down, getting better, chasing rainbows, speak easy. She left me on Friday, on standby. Dolphin, the first song, double A side. Right. Good night. Uh, high hopes, bully boy, devil in your shoes, where have you been tonight? Ocean pie, Mark, great track. The Heroes, one of my favourites. Disco down. So good Look we put it on there twice. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that's the extra bit. Yeah. Love that. Nice bit of vinyl. So, Dominic, you gotta get this. I know. I love a bit of vinyl. I will. Oh, we should have bought two copies. Oh, no, let him that's buy one. I'll buy it. No. I'll buy it. I like buying three vinyl. each. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? Is it? Three each. Oh god, I love yeah. you. Well, I appreciate it. I'll be putting that on my record player later, which Dom got me a record player. I did, yeah, for Christmas. Now, shed seven. Fine, fine band. Well, thank you. And we are the driving force. You've just said it. <laughs> well, you are, and, and everyone knows it. Therefore, it's official. <laughs> you know they know it. Now, when you first started... Now, am I right in saying, Paul, because I always forget what I've asked you when you've yeah, been yeah, in before. Yeah, yeah. Mm. When you joined... How... Was it just before or just after? Just before. Just be well, was it? Well, about a year before. What, before, before you got signed? signed? Yeah, about a year. Okay, all yeah. right, fair enough. Because you sneaked in. Yeah. Well, no, the history goes a lot deeper than that. Oh, we were we School were playing bands. we were playing together when we were twelve. We were That's true with that strap on. Um, sorry, that was the uh, name of the other fella. He left the band. Yeah. <laughs> Musical differences. <laughs> Jeff Strappen. That's right. Yeah. We've been in bands since we were about eleven. Yeah, so all yeah. the way through school, you know, playing in pubs around New York when we were like fourteen. Our first being gig told was in up. my living room to a bunch of German foreign exchange students. Now is hey! that is that, that true? Is actually, a true story. It yeah. is. Yes, it was about six people there. Yeah, and did the Germans and enjoy it? Well, they seem to. Yeah, they appear to. I'd like right. to meet them again now to see what. What, <laughs> what did you do? You remember what you did? Yeah. Well, we had a, the first band that we ever had was with a guy called Lee Muncaster that was at our school, and the reason Lee was in our band was because he had a Casio keyboard. Nice. Do you remember <laughs> the old like? You, they had like the preset, yeah. yeah. Where you could set, assign it to a key, the rhythms and stuff. Do, 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 yeah. do. And he, he had this cassette. Exactly it's exactly like what the song went like. I mean, I had a guitar with two strings on it, so I don't think I was <laughs> was particularly very good. And were and these covers like, or original tracks? No, we had one song called "The Creature of Dreams," <gasps> which was uh, the preset. Which, yeah, you know, music and, on the cassette. Uh, <laughs> And, and there we did. We did this gig in my... My, my sister had a, a German foreign exchange student <laughs> staying at the house. So we just we just invited them around and enforced yeah. Creature of Dreams onto them. <laughs> I think it was a 12-inch mix. It was about six minutes long. But then Lee was doing bell ringing at the church. And our rehearsals clashed with his bell oh, ringing. No. Oh, no. So had to genuinely go. leave the band to go. Poor old Lee. Bell, bell ringing. Did, and did he do well in the bell ringing? Did he go on to huge things? Um, he's, 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 he does all right now, yeah. but I think he's left the bell ringing behind. Oh, oh. shame. <laughs> Never shame. mind. Yeah. Did you, I also read that you entered the local Battle of the Bands twice. Yeah. Yes. And didn't win twice. We came second the first time we did it, and then we came third the oh. second time we did it. So yeah. we actually got worse, yeah. according to judges. Yeah. Do you remember what who won? Know? 
Uh, Cockroach from Scarborough won the first one, if I remember oh. rightly. This was at Fibbers in York that sadly is now there and not long, no longer there anymore. No, it's gone. Um, but I think that it's better not to win these these things. You know, yeah. even even these big talent shows you have on Saturday Night Telly now, the, the people who don't win it generally do better, don't they? Well, you are right. That is true. Why are you trying to get my attention? Oh, no, I was going to say, because some, someone's brother of... Someone who was in Battle of the Bands text in just a moment ago saying um, that they did the battle against you in Bedford and they won. Oh. And then they split up and all went to uni, but you didn't split up and went on to produce bangers like Chasing Rainbows. Oh, there you go. We've you. never let my brother forget it. Yeah, yeah suckers. I, I imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You and the bell ringing fella. <laughs> where are you now? Yeah, Lee, where are you? Yeah. On, Lee. <laughs> ah. So it's tw- it's tw- is it 25 years since your first single came out? Right yes, uh, debut album, 94, yeah, 25 years. Oh, my years. Wow. God. It's crazy, isn't it? How? How has that happened? <sighs> I often ask myself that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you haven't aged. Well, funnily enough, if you look on the inside of that, <laughs> he hasn't aged, has he? It's incredible, really. Well, that was 20 years ago, that picture. Is that, is, that, is that an original picture? of the, It really is, yeah. That's, that, is a, that was taken in You've that had bad yeah. hair all your life. <laughs> oh, good hair. Just the one Amazing hair. You have just gone in and hair. out of fashion. <laughs> yeah. Like flares. I've just basically stuck with the same hairstyle that I've had since I was four. <laughs> and not any different. Tom always looks dopey, doesn't he? He always just <laughs> looks a bit... You know, like he doesn't really know what's going on. <laughs> what are we doing today? Radio? No, it's a photo shoot. All it's right. a great player. Well, whatever you want. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't believe, but I, what I love, and I do say this all the time, I love that Shed, thank you, Shed Samba is a thing. I love it. Is it every year now? No, it's every other year. Come on, make it every year. Well, Stop we, messing yeah, about. We're quite clever, really. If we did it every year, it would no, get a little bit boring. I disagree. So, do you? Right, I, think right. it was, I think it's part of Christmas. Well, it has become a little bit like that every other year, hasn't it? would be it? a bit rubbish if Father Christmas only came every other year. Yeah, that's that? right. Yeah, would, no point. jokes. If he no only jokes. ever came every other year. <laughs> no you'd jokes. Be des- you'd no be desperate. Jokes. That's <laughs> it. Come on, yeah. So tempted. But I do. I think it's... I was, I was listening to Elton John yesterday, and I had it on random shuffle. So about five songs in, I was I was trading and I'm doing I'm doing crunches. I'm doing butterfly sit up crunches and step into Christmas starts playing. Yeah, that's so a I tune. couldn't I couldn't get up and switch it off. And I just sat and listened to it and it just makes me feel a Christmas. Yeah, it's a good song. Mm. So I think every year should be Shed Sember should right, do okay, these well, gigs. Should we consider that for next year? We'll put it to the uh, put it to the committee. Yes, let's see what Who else is on this committee? <laughs> Well, well, we are the driving people. force. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we form a minority government uh, well, within Shed 7. That's going to work. <laughs> Those always work. Yeah. Now, these dates, it starts, Shed Semba has now got so popular that it starts on the 21st of November in Stoke. Uh, that's the 21st of Shed November Denver. for mm. Shed Semba. Um, and then it goes all the way through Birmingham, Nottingham, Carlisle, Blackburn, Aberdeen, Glasgow, Middlesbrough. And then Scunthorpe, Liverpool, London. No, you're playing. I see. Yes, Friday uh, night, London yep. Hotel. Big night at, at the uh, arena in Leeds on the seventh of December, and then Cambridge and Norwich and Newcastle. A couple of nights in London. I'm going to be there, by the way. Lovely. I'm going to be there probably the second night of the two London shows. London so Town Saturday night. If anybody wants to come down that night, that sounds good. Then come down on the second night. Get tickets for the for the night well, two. The first, yeah. the first one's almost gone. Oh, in so. that case, go for the night yeah. two. I think the second night is probably the one to go for. Yeah, and if you see me, buy me a beer. So if you do <laughs> want to see them, come to Brixton. Yeah. On the second go. night, and then we'll all hang out together. Ace. I love Sounds it. That's good. I really love it. Yeah. So there's a thing things about your band that I do want to ask, even though I've known you guys for a long time. Uh, so the story was, or you tell me, the story I heard was the record company wanted to release like a greatest hits, and you were like, well, mm. "No, there's, it's just way, it's way too early to do that business." Yeah, yeah that's true. And then it all f- f- crumbled. Yeah, partly yeah. because oh. of well, partly because they 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 want not only did they want us to do that album, but they also wanted us to write two singles for mm. it, which was probably the only reason we agreed to do it. Which is hard to do anyway. Yeah, write two hit singles. But to we wrote the greatest hits mm. album. Well, yeah, so well, we did it. We came up with yeah. the goods. It's we wrote pressure. Disco down. Mm-hmm. And we True. Wrote high hopes and high hope, which high hopes never got released. Yeah, and that was why we fell out with the record company because they released Disco Down. That did all right, and then we were all geared up for releasing High Hopes, and then they went, Nah. I'll tell you what, guys, let's re-release Going for Gold as a single, and that was just too much, and we said mm. no, so they dropped us. 
And <laughs> did they release Going for Gold as a single? Regardless, no. no it was all didn't. over. So the last song was Disco Down. Yeah. Which which was a hit. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big hit. It was, yeah. Yeah, it did all right for us. It's so bizarre when you look back. Yeah. So High Ops never never came out as a single. And now they want to re-release it. <laughs> so what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? High what Hopes. Product? Well, High, it's gone mad. <laughs> High Hopes is a great song, by the way. I'm just well, going to see you, if yeah. I can find it, just to play a little bit of it. Because it, it, it is. It is a bit of a winner. And a lot of people do play it at the weddings and... Uh, you know, it's quite romantic. Mm. I, I really I genuinely, I, I think it's an absolute, I think it's an absolute tune. Uh, and I'm going to try and find it whilst talking to you at the same we time. Just, we just thought easy. we were ripping off our core fan base at the time by re-releasing things that had just come out. Yeah. So we kind of tried to put our foot down, which didn't work because they just mm. told us to go away. Well, if you listen wow. to Disco Down, right? So if you put Disco Down on, which was, which was a hit, obviously, big chart hit. Great video, loved it. Mm. I remember hearing it for the first time, thinking, "Oh, this is this is a tune." Well, you could be friends of mine. Right, so you got that, you know that song, right? And then they also did this new track, "High Hopes," which never got released. Mm. However, in the nice way that Shed Seven do songs, like they've still got the Shed Seven feel to them, but it's a totally different track, totally different sound, but. Beautiful, beautiful track, High Hopes. Right. I love the strings. Nice. Yeah, the strings are good. Is that a cello? Cello. Hey, cello. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you are hung over, aren't you? It's a bass. <laughs> and also, as well, those strings are not cheap. No, no, they're not. No, and we have some not. strings on our new, m most recent album, didn't we? Which Did, was yeah. ace to see them doing it. Yeah, you know, yeah. just being there, witnessing them actually laying that down. It's it's always. A I've always line, loved right? that about you guys. It's always been uh, strings and brass. Yeah, yeah. Which sound great on a track, mm. and then when you go live, you go, "Oh balls, we need a string section, and a brass <laughs> section." <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm yeah. going to make any money out of these shows. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's but cost. it. It's always good, and you and you pull the brass out on the tour from yeah, time do, to yeah. time, which yeah. is yes. absolutely worth They'll it. They'll be with us this time. Good. Yes. Brass yes. boys. Yeah. good. I'll chip in for a string section if you want, for one night only. Right, here we go. There you go. Like a small okay. one. Yeah. Oh, already. <laughs> I'm not having like a 48 you piece orchestra. I was just, just going to get the uh, for the mark on the, uh, <laughs> on the phone. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, let's hear a track. What do you want to hear? Well, what do you want to hear? What do you want to sing? What do you want to play? Mm. Because well, rather than me say, do a song, and I'll, I'll, how about doing this one? Why don't you choose a song? Well, what should we do? And I don't mind if you want to do we've something. Got, we've got a back catalogue. I know you have. Should we sift through? Yeah, yeah. have a sift. What, what do you, like? what, what do you enjoy singing? Bearing in mind it is very early in the morning, so I know it's <laughs> tricky. Well, I mean, you've got your obvious and you've got your less obvious. I mean, we could do something like on standby or something. Should we do that? Do you want to do on standby? Oh, I'd love that. I'm gonna. In, can you, can in you the just... wrong key because he uses a capo usually. So mm. I've now actually, this early in the morning, got to sing it in a different key. Yeah. Okay, you. I'm going to do some engineering by moving the microphone near yeah. to Paul's okay. guitar. Yeah. Right. yeah. Thanks, Chris. Uh, oh, my God, it doesn't work. Hey. Oh, oh, lovely. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little bit of reverb. Ready? Mm. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, live, first thing in the morning, which Rick hates. I asked him <laughs> to do this. Uh, this is Shed 7. Would you stay on standby? Because I need another alibi In the wrong place, at the wrong time Could you talk a fine rhyme? I need to know that I'll be fine Bulletproof Like I've never been born We conceive in the alleyways It's like I've never been born And we believe in other ways That you do and you did And there's proof that we did wrong tonight Send such 
tragedy Because I saw it on the BBC There's a panel on that channel Could you walk a narrow line? I need to know I'm gonna serve my time with some use. It's like I've never been born. We conceive in the alleyways. It's like I've never been born, and we believe. You can cry if you want to, but it won't help you. You can cry if you want to, but it won't help you to get you through this crime. It will plague you. Stand by. Like I've never been born And we believe in other ways That you do and you did And there's proof that we did wrong tonight We did wrong You're listening to Radio X We did wrong Radio X leave that little gap at the end just in case they put it as a bonus track <laughs> yeah still waiting but i always leave that little gap oh, oh it's awesome so how Dude. many german exchange students were listening to that <laughs> <laughs> many oh my god love shed seven high hopes is a favorite too says lisa you've just made my morning says laura uh my favorite can't wait to see you again at rock city shed seven sounding beautiful this morning can't wait to see you in birmingham love shed seven and i'm from scarborough there you go. <laughs> Lots of love. Dave has got uh, goosebumps. Rick is my childhood hero, says Kelly. Thank you very much. Kelly. How can anybody be that good, says Roger. Lot of love for you this morning. Wow. Lot of love out there. Thank well, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Go, if you just enjoyed that, go online now and then get tickets to see Shed 7. Lots of the dates are sold out. So have a little look around. It's worth the travel. And it's worth a little night, get a little hotel, have a have a trip yeah, out. Yeah, make a do of it. Make it a do. Yeah. We do. Honestly, I do. Every like when yeah. we since Shed Semba started, it's my it's my little uh it's my little Christmas treat to myself. No tradition, isn't it? Yeah. So last time was so what is it was it two years? Two years. Yeah. And was it Brixton again well, two years it ago? Brixton, it was ace last time. So, so fingers crossed. Someone even Threw a bra on stage. Which, which I'm was, sorry about that. In six, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't need it anymore now. Well, not that size. Yeah, me and Nick went uh, a couple of years ago. We met up with Stephanie May. Oh, right, yeah. And we had a night at uh, Brixton watching nice. the boys. It was brilliant. It's a good gig, is Brixton, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A, one of those just real proper gigs. We only ever got to do it once in the 90s or something like that. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we sold it out in the 90s. Oh, so we so did there was last always someone that had eluded us a little bit. So to be doing two nights. That are. It's good. It's great, and you can stand at the back because it slopes oh, it, downwards great, towards yeah, the stage. So, so venues, the bars at the back, isn't it? It's all yeah. sloped down. It's so nice. if you find yourself going there, <clears throat> there's a six foot tall fellow in front of you. Just go back a couple yeah. of bits. You'll be able to look over his head. <laughs> it's great. Um, and the rest of the boys are good. They are indeed. They're all very good. Yes, we're getting together once a week to rehearse for this upcoming. Uh, Tall. Nice. So three hours a week's enough, isn't it? That's I enough. think so. <laughs> In which we spend two and a half hours a bit talking. Yeah. That's of course. <laughs> I'm analyzing that. everything. Yeah. Um and you're all families are all good, everything great. Everyone appears to be really good at the minute, which R is ace because life can be a bit rubbish sometimes, mm. doesn't it? So when everything works, it's great. Yeah. Do you yeah. like do you love going on tour? 
the, the thing is with us now, because we don't do it that much, mm. it's always ace. It's yeah. a right, right pleasure to do because you can stop and smell the roses. You know what I mean? Mm. And how's your family anyway? You're, all, you're asking us about us. They're right? all very yeah. well. Yeah, my mum and dad are good. Our yes. kids are good. Our lass is good. You've not yeah. met my girlfriend yet, have you? I've not, no. No. So when It'll are happen. you doing that? It'll, uh, huh? December? Uh, well, do you know, High Hopes is her favourite Shed 7 track. Is it? Right, okay. So she wasn't aware of Shed 7. So what I did was accidentally bought the album on her phone. Right. Because when she would get in <laughs> so her you, car... You too, did you? Yeah, pretty much did a U2 <laughs> yeah. on her. <laughs> and, uh, and the songs would come up. And she went from not knowing any Shed 7 songs and going, what is this? What is this? What's this noise? What's this? I didn't buy this. What's, What's this noise? <laughs> Stop <laughs> this <laughs> noise. <laughs> so now she knows so many because she would get in the car and the, her phone would just connect and start playing songs. Right. So, but can High Hopes is a for everyone else in the country? I can do that, yeah. yeah. I'll buy everyone. <laughs> and yeah. I'm also... What's the deal with any new new music from Shed 7? Because the last album, and I know I am a fan and biased, but the last album is an absolute cracking album. It is. There's not yes. a duff track on it. Yeah. And it I did well, mean that. It? it did well. Yeah. And yeah. to be honest, I'm really proud of that. But it was, I like to call it a happy accident because it yeah. wasn't supposed to happen. It right. It just, just seemed to happen. We just started writing songs in rehearsals with no blueprint didn't we yeah so there's think, nobody there to tell yeah. us you must do this that's you must why do i that. think it was as good as it was so we, mm. there will be new music but it'll come on it well ready. it took us 16 years to do that no, that's <laughs> true. it's that's probably going to take us another 32 but if everyone can just hang on in there well you're getting some... better so i say 14 years well, between well, maybe, the next yeah. two albums well, don't right. put the pressure on us Chris. all right you're right sorry <laughs> <laughs> and i'd like two new hit singles oh yeah <laughs> yes please all right if it's in weeks just go and make that happen um Always lovely to see you. You too. Uh, good luck with the tour. It starts, as I say, 21st November in Stoke. It is hitting everywhere. If you would like to go, just uh, put in into your phone now, Shed 7 Tour. The dates will pop up. You can get tickets. I will be there on the 14th of December at the O2 Academy at Brixton. Dominic, you're more than welcome yeah. to come along. That 14th sounds good, actually. All right, Saturday yes. night. Yeah. They're doing Friday and Saturday night. Mm. I'm going to be there on the Saturday. So if you want to join me, get your tickets. We'll have a right night. And support on the tour mm -hmm. is... Playing. Is it the pair of them or a mixture? It's the twang on the entire tour and then uh, Rev, the Reverend and the Makers join us at Leeds Arena. Nice. Great. Yeah. That'll be good. Clint Boone doing a bit of DJing. Nice. It, uh, God love him. Formerly of this parish, Clint yeah, Boone. Clint, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a good tour. It will be. Well, let's hope so. so that, that's, <laughs> that's a definite then, is it? 14th. Definite. 14th. Yeah. We'll see yeah. you there. Yeah, see you there. Rick is live on the radio. Yeah. I'm going to write it in my phone. <laughs> yeah, he's got to buy some tickets now, you're tired to ask. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Banks and Rick Witter yeah. from the yeah. band yeah. Shed you. 7. Get your tickets now. The Chris Miles Show. <laughs> you can trust some things to start your day off just right. The patter of rain falling outside. Lovely.